reason she wants it is because it has a coffin because she's going to bury my ass. Well, no. I just bury living. problematic people. Don't be problematic. Jot that down. Escalators in the south. So we're here at the Wharf Boat and Yacht Show. We do this every year. There's like 110 million dollars worth of boats here. Yeah, so there's over like 700 center console boats and we're getting a drink. You can't take a woman by a jewelry store and she not go in, especially a bougie ass one like that one. We're supposed to be doing boats, not jewelry. Take your flimsy plastic cup. Boom. Got a branded cup now. We can't even enjoy a bow show. She's got to do business over here on the phone. Guaranteed it has a cabin. Yeah, exactly. Does this one have a cabin? It does. Okay, get in there. I want to see your six foot tall ass get in there. <laughs> oh, you got room left over. Barely. Wait a minute. Turn around a minute. It ain't that. It's. Uh -huh. Oh, you man. You got jokes, huh? What is that? No. Go down our the... cabin on our. We currently have better than that, sir. A generator, an ice maker. Got that, got that currently. Look, she says, it, there's no way it's got a cabin. This man is over here showing me he's got TVs, air conditioner, full. He's got everything you need. You can literally, you can live on this boat. 2.2 mil, a little out of the price range. I mean, shoot, it's got four motors in the back. Do we need four? No, but it looks cooler if you do. We have a 2003 Cabo. It's not 45, it's 35. This one's selling for 295. I'm trying to sell mine for 220 right now. So tell me I don't have a deal. A deal! So what's the story on this one? It's for sale. Burned to about 20 gallons, 22 gallons an hour at cruise. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, 22 gallons an hour, not bad. Per engine. Yeah. Oh, per engine. Never mind. <laughs> you got a full band. This is one. I saw another stairway. Another one. There's another one. Even the bathroom's pretty big for a boat. I mean, we got about seven foot of clearance there. Phone a friend? Phone a friend? Hey Dave. Yep. This could be your next three bad, two bad. You're right. Could be. Hey everybody, more boats. Surprise, surprise. The really big boat that you probably saw in some of the clips earlier is called a work of art. And Art Favre, which is actually Brett Favre's uncle, owns a contracting business called Performance Contractors, who also happens to own all of this complex. He bought it out of a foreclosure or bankruptcy back in 2008 when everything was going to shit and now he owns this entire complex and one of the largest contracting businesses in the world and we're about to go see his boat but we can't get on it but he's just got it here just to, just to show it off so work of art the ceiling is tall enough to fit all that so that's how big it is
just touring this boat here and it is nice and big this is probably the master bedroom in here AC pumping I'm gonna go into the bathroom look at that okay I mean I can stand them six foot two I can fully stand in the bathroom there's a shower right here just got it closed off so it doesn't move around you got a lot of sink space here mirror got your John right there I'm guessing this is some kind of towel closet yep linens of the paper closet space television and then more bedrooms this way so we got bed there decently sized bed there AC cranking we got the other bathroom. Again, can stand all the way. Don't have to duck. Shower. John. Just to give you an idea of how much headroom I've got here. So I can still get my hand all the way there. That's not very good. And that's just charter. where you're yeah. staying at. Sit out of our bait and another boat came swimming in. A button push door. Badass. Okay. So let's go up. So even if you're not at the helm, you can just chill here and see where you're going. Plenty of space on this thing. And we got built-in JL audio. I'm the captain now. United Yacht Sales has this for sale, not on sale. For sale, not on sale. Now that's an engine. Six foot. You have six foot clearance here. So you don't have to stay all hunched over while you're working on it. But if you own the boat like this, you probably don't actually work on it yourself. Probably got other people that are doing it. But poor guys like me, we gotta break our backs just crawling around in small ass engine rooms. You could have the penthouse at the at the wharf or you could have the penthouse here on the water. You're still at the wharf either way. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks guys for Thank showing us. No yeah, no problem. Cool boat. If I move out, I'm probably going to end up on that. I respect that I do too. Boats. No one wants to sell me a freaking boat. There's no one here. They're all closing up for weather. I want to buy a boat. Getting on the Invincible. It's not the Invincible, it's just the brand. All right. Oh, all right. This is why. Loungers. This is why we'll have this boat. There it it's is. It's got a coffin. The reason she wants it is because it has a coffin, because she's going to bury my ass. No, I'm just very problematic people. Don't be problematic. Jot that down.